Is it time to buy or sell iShares 20 plus year treasury bond ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into iShares 20 plus year treasury bond. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, the 20th of September, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price prediction and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 23rd of August, 2024, our system has identified iShares 20 plus year treasury bond as a buy candidate, assigning it a score of 2.16. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has experienced a gain of half a percent. This results in an average return of two hundredths of a percent per day since it was designated as a buy candidate. The exchange traded fund is currently navigating a slight upward trend in the short term, indicating that further growth may be on the horizon. The present three month trend indicates a potential change of nearly 10% over the next three months, with anticipated returns ranging from 8% to 13%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it forecasts a change of approximately 7.5% over the coming year, with possible returns varying between negative 3% and 10%. This suggests a price range of $96 to $109 after one year. Our latest daily update for iShares 20-plus year treasury bond includes the headline, iShares 20-plus year treasury bond ETF price ended at $98.88 on Friday, after losing 0.383%. The iShares 20-plus year Treasury bond ETF price fell by 0.383% on the last day, which was Friday, the 20th of September, 2024, dropping from $99.26 to $98.88. This marks the fourth consecutive day of decline. During the last trading day, the ETF fluctuated by 0.532%, with a day low at $98.72 and a day high of $99.25. The price has decreased in six of the last 10 days and is down by 0.68% during this period. Volume also decreased on the last day alongside the ETF, which is typically a positive sign, as volume should follow the ETF's movement. On that day, trading volume decreased by 3 million shares, with a total of 37 million shares exchanged for approximately $3.62 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $101.64, while the lowest price was $82.42. Currently, the price is 2.71%, or $2.76, below the 52-week high, and 44.97%, or $80.82, .80 below the all-time high reached on the 9th of March, 2020, when the price peaked at $179.70. Recent developments concerning the iShares 20-plus year Treasury Bond ETF, or TLT, suggest a notable shift likely benefiting investors in the near and long term. Following the Federal Reserve's recent decision to cut interest rates aggressively, a first in its ongoing fight against inflation, TLT is poised for upward movement. This half percent rate cut is the most significant in 16 years, aiming to foster economic stability. As interest rate cuts typically make bonds more attractive, TLT has already broken out to reach a higher high for 2024, developing a rounded bottoming pattern. This technical formation signals strong potential for continued gains, further supported by the backdrop of declining inflation and economic uncertainty. Over the longer term, as the Fed maintains a soft landing approach, investors may increasingly seek the steady income and safety that long-term treasuries provide. 
Moreover, rising expectations of additional rate cuts have prompted a shift in market positioning, with investors likely to favor TLT as a defensive investment amid volatile markets. The following signals have been identified for iShares 20-plus year Treasury bond. The iShares 20-plus year Treasury bond ETF currently holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average. However, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is a general buy signal in the ETF, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. If further gains occur, the ETF will encounter resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $100.06. Conversely, if the ETF declines, it will find support from the long-term average at approximately $98.41. A breakout above the short-term average will trigger a buy signal, while a drop below the long-term average will signal a sell. Additionally, a buy signal has emerged from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or a MACD. Some negative signals have also been issued, which may influence the near-term developments. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Monday, September 16, 2024, and so far, the ETF has fallen by 2.42%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Volume decreased along with the price during the last trading day, which mitigates overall risk as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some additional signals that you may find intriguing. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots showed a sell signal five days ago. Bollinger revealed a buy signal five days ago. The short-term moving average signaled a sell four days ago. The long-term moving average indicated a buy signal 41 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 37 days ago. Observing the 12-month chart reveals the short moving average indicated a sell signal two days ago. The long-term moving average signaled a sell 43 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages revealed a buy signal 64 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, risk, and stop loss for iShares 20 plus year treasury bond. iShares 20 plus year treasury bond finds support from accumulated volume at $98.80. This level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction is expected when the support is tested. In general, this exchange-traded fund tends to exhibit very controlled movements, and with good liquidity, the risk associated with this stock is considered to be very low. During the last day, the fund experienced a movement of 52.5 cents between its high and low, which equates to 0.532%. Over the past week, the fund has had a daily average volatility of 0.82%. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for iShares 20 plus year treasury bond. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for iShares 20 plus year treasury bond is at 99.56. If you do not currently own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a key level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, iShares 20 plus year treasury bond faces its first support level at 98.80. If this support level holds, it may present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $94.72, reflecting a decrease of 4.2%. This exchange-traded fund exhibits low daily movements, which contributes to a lower risk profile. Additionally, there is a sell signal generated from a pivot top identified 30 days ago. Is the iShares 20-plus year treasury bond ETF a good buy? Several short-term indicators, along with an overall positive trend, suggest that the current level may present a buying opportunity. There is a reasonable chance for the iShares 20-plus year treasury bond ETF to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, 
our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, the 23rd of September, we anticipate the iShares 20-plus year treasury bond to open up 0.0683 and start trading at 98.95. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should consult a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decisions solely on information from stockinvest.us. By using this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.